Okay, I am putting in a recessed toilet paper roll holder. And the reason is, is that the surface mount one that was there kept getting knocked loose by people. So uh, one problem that I had is you see that there is a cement uh, foundation wall inside and the, I don't know if you can see any, but the, um, the wall has uh, furring studs on it. So you can just kind of see one of them back there and... Uh, can't quite see one from here but anyway so what I did is I put a piece of uh, three-quarter inch wood here and here and I screwed it into the wall and then I made myself a piece of one inch uh, by 12 inch long piece of wood there and it's an inch and a quarter deep behind the outside of the sheetrock wall here. This is actually uh, the old brown uh, green board. But anyway, the tile or the toilet paper roll holder will go on like that. Much more solid. This one won't knock loose like the other paper roll holders do. And it also sits a little bit into the wall. So there's a little more space on the side of the toilet. So anyway, there were a couple of screw holes here and here and here, here, here. And I took some speed mud and taped, paper taped over it. And I put a second coat of mud on last night and I'm just gonna lightly sand this this morning and paint it all and then put the toilet uh, paper uh, roll holder in and it will be done. And so that is what it will look like. Then the other thing we have to do here too is the um, floor is uneven next to the toilet. You can kind of see the gap between the bottom of the toilet and the floor. So we're going to just take these dark plastic um, shims, trim them to fit under there, and uh, that will take care of that. And uh, I'm trying to stay away from caulking or sealing under the toilet because um, the uh, code city inspectors, they used to like you to caulk the bottom of the toilet to the floor. And then they began to realize that, well, wait a minute, this is rotting out the floor because the uh, cold water coming down the toilet on warm days is causing condensation to accumulate under the toilet and when you caulk that and seal it in that condensation has nowhere to go and so it builds up and it rots out the floor under the toilet so that is um, what you do not want to do nowadays is to caulk your toilet to the floor because if there is a leak or water you want it to be able to f flow out from under and get air in there to dry it. Okay, so there you go. That is a little house tip for you. Do not caulk your toilet to the floor. And if you have to shim the toilet, you can put a little dab of caulk on the shim uh, after you fit it and cut it to go under the toilet inconspicuously. And, um, and then it will uh, stay put and the toilet won't rock on the floor. Uh, this toilet doesn't rock on the floor right now, but in time it will probably start to as things begin to uh, wear in and uh, flex over time. All right? Okay, so that is the hot ticket right now, putting in a uh, recessed toilet paper roll holder, fixing the wall, getting ready to paint it. And the last step is I'm uh, just going to do an easy thing here and put these vinyl base coves in, base shoe moldings. They just glue on. I got to cut this one to fit underneath of the scutcheon for the toilet um, uh, water fill. And, uh, and then I'll be done. Okay. All right.
uh, there's your hot tip for the day. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and all that good stuff. All right, thanks for watching.